Hello YouTube, we're back with more World's Vod reviews. It is Swiss Day 4, first game of the day, Top Esports versus Fnatic. Thanks so much for tuning in in advance. You guys enjoy the content, feel free to drop a sub. Likes and comments help the channel a lot. Follow me everywhere at CubbyXX, including Twitch, where I stream these live. That being said, let's dive on into Game 1. Top Esports versus Fnatic, this draft. Alright guys, uh, I probably should have left my camera up for Fnatic fans so that they don't see the Yone being first picked. Um, I, I, I was on a couple uh, podcasts with Nymera. I was on the Summoning Insight episode with him, and then also he was on the Hotline League with Yamada. And I remember him specifically talking about Kareem and saying that if Kareem's on Meleys, it's a bad time. And Yone, I don't know what Yone is at this point of the tournament, but he's currently sitting at 15-3. and three. And Kareem is insane on Yone. And I specifically remember talking with Nymera saying that I would not give Top Esports this champion. Well, guess what? We're giving them this champion. Response, the Smolder. Uh, which we've seen for a lot of the tournament. I'm still not sold in it. I feel like Yone just has the ability to make plays. Uh, I will say Smolder Scarter, though, is not that bad. I just don't think that you ever give Cream Yone. Uh, like, I, I, I think if you put Cream on the meta champs, I do think that Cream's at a small disadvantage. So giving him like his champ that is just dominating the tournament, I just do not get at all. Also, there was the rumor about Fnatic and their draft meeting going sideways. And then it was renounced by June, which was, I mean, hilarious. That's classic Fnatic. Anyway, um, yeah, I would never give top esports this champion uh, in this tournament, just by no means. I, I, I don't think there's any answer that I've seen and, or any logic to give Cream Yone that I could find uh, that said this was the decision made. Uh, rest of the top side, I mean, eh, we lose the entire top side against top esports. Again, not the way I would play in the top esports. I feel like this is a real strength of theirs. Jin uh, picked up. This is fine. MF uh, has not seen a lot of play. She was nerfed in this patch, but I actually really like the MF here. Uh, again, just keep the pace of the game going. MF, I think uniquely, you can you are able to play three sides. The Wombo's big. I think for me, the real thing is, I don't know why, again, like, I have an issue with Yone being given away first pick, right? Like, that's one thing. Why the fuck would you give Rumble Yone the rel? Like, I, I, I just don't know... I don't have any reason or logic to give the rel when you're showing Rumble Yone as well. So that was also a real issue for me. I, I legitimately just blind rel here. Uh, so, or I, I will give Jin for that. I do think that Jin makes this comp really good. But MF's a nice substitute, honestly. Brings some utility, helps with the Wombo, and a lot of early power. So top esports, Sejuani into Skarner with three winning lanes. Uh, Fnatic needs a lot of time to scale. I also think that Fnatic, when they have been okay in this tournament, it has been when Humanoid's been on the Yone, which I think he's had both games uh, at this point, and he does an okay job of stretching sides. I think Fnatic is best when they play sides fast. They cannot play sides at all in this draft, which I have a real issue with. So, good luck. Oh, shit, runes. I'm out of practice, guys. Um, 369 going with a Storm. So, West Lane Pryo, curious... Everyone's rocking the same Skarner runes, which I like. And we're finally off the grass pit. Wait, what? That's gotta be a misclick, no? There's no reason for that to not be Fauna Life. You get a shield from Green Smite, but that's it. That's crazy. Alright, well, that's bad. Fauna Life's like really OP on Sedge too. Every ability she has can proc it. Uh, based. I'm I'm so done with the Damala shit. From uh supports. Uh, still biased towards Blue Tree on Jin, by the way. Uh, but everything else is fine. Flash standard. All right. Uh, is there anything I don't know about Tien Zyra? Is there anything there? I know that Tarzan was like perma win of that champ. I think Tien was the same way. But I I really only saw LPL for like LPL playoffs in the big matches. I'm not the LPL expert. Okay, so it's a swap from Fnatic. Two lane mid with supports. Each top one, uh, Oscar got here a little bit sooner. But it's the even swap. I don't mind this. I, I mean, what I would have rather seen here is... Hold on, I gotta go back and look. Ooh, wait. Let's go. Okay, nice. I mean, we did lose TP and TP. 
for this, but I'm curious if there's a better start that we can have. I mean, okay, so my thing is that I, my issue with swaps, I, I don't think that mid XP should be split, at least not at a disadvantage. The swap's even, like, so far XP is pretty split like, evenly across the board. Um, My thing with swaps, I think the top laners need to just gut it out. They need to try and soak the first three melee creeps and go from there. I do think Sansa is able to do that in this game, so uh, I, I would have rather seen Oscar actually start in lane against the MF and Rel and just see if he can leech XP. Uh, PB Doc, I agree with you. Again, there's no reason to give Cream Yoda. All right, so top laner is going to trade XP, and they're going to be able to soak all this. Again, I, I just don't think that, like, with the current meta and the jungle starts, like, there aren't a lot of games where you can, like, actually three camp on the first wave and be there. Now, we do have uh, Razork forcing off the Rumble after this, and that's very good. And you're going to see 369, he does sack that entire wave. Uh, meanwhile, Oscar's going to get out the dive, which he survives. So again, very good for Fnatic. So Fnatic actually has an advantage here. Uh, well played by Razork. Uh, again, I do think that in the swap scenarios for Rumble versus Cassante, Cassante is going to be advantaged because I think that he can soak the first three melee XP, whereas Rumble cannot. Rumble's be like better. I actually like Rumble with the East start and then go try and fuck with mid or like one of the side lanes you're going to swap. Uh, e, e is pretty strong level one. But he shouldn't be able to soak melee. Like, you should have an easier job forcing him off the melee creeps. I mean, Cream got humanoid TP early. Humanoid is six. Ooh, hold on. Okay, I, li I like the all from Humanoid. Like, he's got to reset at some point here. And then they do get 369, it was down flash, so well played. This is good, this is good from Fnatic. I, like, again, they do have a top lane XP advantage, so they're able to snowball it with Razork working his way up there. It's, it's not a good timer. Yeah, I, I actually really like how Fnatic played out the sequence. This is actually quite good. Yeah, I mean, they, they guarantee that they had mid. They see support there, they jail support, and then they just go top with XP advantage. There's still no TP on 369, so that's really big. There's no response. Nice. Yeah, I mean, th this is good. Like, the rel's late. Rel goes to hold the wave, which is big. Yeah, I don't like the Fnatic comp. Like, they're, they're, they don't have... Any damage in this composition, man. I, I the damage diff from top versus Fnatic is just like it's astronomical. They, they, this is a zero damage. I hate this draft from Fnatic. I really do. Nothing can win side lane against Cream. But you're just praying that you get Smolder to 225, and then the fights are slow enough that Smolder can win because your front line is just massive. But it is literally a single threat damage comp, and that threat doesn't come online until you get 225 stacks. I, I just, I, I, I fucking despise this draft from Fnatic. It's so bad. Um, the, Okay, so Jackie was surviving this ends up being nice because we are able to get Grubs off of this for top esports. I like the trap placement by Noah. Uh, Jackie Wolf does burn both sums to get out, so that's nice, but the Grubs do go over as June should bot and Rel's topside. Rel. They pull the wave. Oscar had the base afterwards, so still a better timer from top esports to get these. I'm wondering if... Yeah, I mean, they, they just they get the play. They don't get the grubs. It's still a win, but they do drop grubs for this. And Razork's going to flip his pathing here. Okay, I, I hate this from Fnatic, too. I... <sighs> so, 
So they, they hovered Humanoid mid. Noah's just going to catch this wave, and they just have no... Like this could this should have been a dragon here for top esports, by the way. Did Tian Tian should infer that Humanoid is basing, and they have enough vision where if Tian goes over the wall and hits the dragon instead of the Krugs, it's it's very winnable. Even if Humanoid stays, like you you just win this fight. So I think, I think Top's late on the dragon here. Ooh, all right, this was bad. I mean, it's it's a good find from Razork, but again, your mid is disadvantaged. No one misses, even though they're being yoinked. And then they walk into this. So that's bad. Again, I really feel like Top Esports actually had a Dragon Timer here. I Like, for me, they, they do have a Dragon Timer. Like, and it's because it's Fnatic, I, I just don't, like, they're, they don't need to send two to hover mid. This is, this is an over-allocation. I, uh, no, Noah is not needed there. You, you only need support there. It, it does not like Noah does not fucking matter. Okay, so that's Dragon. I mean, good Wombo. I just, like, I don't... Uh -huh. Like, even even the route from Noah, by the way, like, why aren't we waiting for this afterward? I mean, it's not super stacked. My question is... Oh, it's just a nice buffer from Mako. You didn't stack the CC. Mako did buffer this. That's a good Q. I'll, I'll give Mako some props on that, but I just, like, this is nothing about this play that's winning for Fnatic. I, 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 that all is just never winning on, on, onto the rail. There, there's just, there's no fucking shot you win this. Like, nothing about that play is ever winning. I don't know. I, I don't, I, I don't think that fight's fine for Fnatic. I, I just think they have zero, they have zero fucking damage. All right, 369 gets the wave in, walks over a ward. He's going to support mid. I guess it is Grub spawning, so I, I, this is nice from Razork. I'll, I'll give Razork, again, some credit on this. Like, 369 has wards in the area, so he feels safe. Like, that hurts, but... Now we have to TP... Oh, we double TP to the fen. I mean, this ain't worth it for me. This egg, it's just not worth playing one lane for this. I guess they feel pressure to deny grubs because the side lane from top esports is going to be. It's just going to be stronger, right? So this is the play they make to deny the grubs. But the Cassante, like, he's no longer winning his matchup because of this. And then we just have the zero damage coming out from top esports or uh, from Fnatic. I, again, the humanoid makes no difference with this TP, by the way. I, 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 there's just no reason for me to send humanoid up here. Like, if you're going to do this, give him the kill and give him the wave afterwards. I, uh, feed the fucking smolder. Instead, like, he ports in, ports out, gets nothing. And then Oscar, like, Way overextends. Again, their comp has zero damage. And they're going to play against this new Yone build, the Bork Stridebreaker, where if you have no damage, like you just get fucked. Yes, it is a bit much for one kill, absolutely. What's up, Caesar? Good to see you. And then look at the post play in this. They lose grubs because they, they went for this kill. Like... Again, if you're going to make this play, at least get the grubs. I, I actually respect what Tien's doing here, like laying the trap for Oscar walking on the way back, and that's why two is too much. If you, if you only sent Oscar, you left Humanoid mid, you fixed the mid wave, you still have a way to play for grubs. You just play to connect with Humanoid. And you can play grubs through topside. 
as Fnatic, but no. Instead, they they fucking do this. They they way way overexert uh, just for one kill. They don't do the grubs. Like they they're ignoring the grubs. By the way, which for me are valuable this game to prevent a win con from top, which is two winning sides, which they have. Whoever side Yoda goes to wins. And grubs are very abusable. Instead, they they get they allow for Rumble to be completely back in the game, and they give six grubs and they burn two TPs for one kill. I, th this is the most illegal shit on the planet that I'm witnessing. Like nothing about this play was good. Yeah, cream. Oh, by the way, cream gets three points from this, two points from this. Fuck yeah. Oscar's down two levels to cream and down a level to three six nine after he got a kill and he was six to like barely five from Rumble. By the way. Like, Fnatic just completely pitched their game. Because they decided to TP Smolder for nothing. Also, I'm down with the Cassante TP. They just have to play for Grubs afterwards. They, you, you, you play for that. You sack bot and said Humanoid TPs, Insta bases. Absolutely zero fucking pressure on the map from that. They didn't even give him the kill. Like, he actually just threw his entire game for that play. And then he... Like, oh. Alright, there's no flash in 369. This is kind of reasonable. I am I'm pretty down for this. They had June in the fast track, but again, no no TPs. And an FK master rotation. Also, where's Noah in this? The path that Noah takes? Holy shit, dude. Noah, you're a giant pussy for walking this way, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. Look, like, look! Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. MF is spotted here. June is pinged out by Jackie Love. There is a ward that is dropped, and Noah does not take the fast track. If he comes here, you can actually R and impact this fight. Holy shit, Noah. Like, oh, like, that, that, that's AFK as fuck, man. That's so AFK. Like, what, what is he scared of, by the way? If, if, if MF, literally, if he walks here, they can catch MF on rotation. If he walks this way. What is he scared of? Wow, that's brutal. That's actually brutal. That's, that's really bad. I, I I have absolutely no 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 reasoning or logic for why Noah did not take the shortcut. I I, I truly do not. Oh my God, Doctor Professor Sergeant Miss J. <laughs> we practiced taking the best path and randomly during the game. My teammates decided to make another choice. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> I mean, that would explain the TPs too. I'm hiring if you need a job. <laughs> Guys, get this man writing. Get this man writing. I mean, this draft is so cooked, though. From like, look, look at how much damage they do, guys. <laughs> look at all the damage they just did as they lose mid. <laughs> They're tickling them. Oh my god! All right, this is not worth it for me. I, 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 I mean, nice. They got a dragon. Uh, Chemtex, not bad for Fnatic, given they have absolutely zero damage, and at least they can benefit from the shields. The Tenacity is kind of nice, too. I mean, Chemtex, not pretty null and void this game, but... Uh, this is always good from Fnatic. They, they let Humanoid push out bot long. They do give Herald for this, but Humanoid does get an Insta Tower, and Top's not pressured. Uh, Rumble does dip down on this wave to help secure the Rift. Uh, so that that's that's fine from Fnatic. Human humanoid getting that free time is really important. It's really tough for Humanoid this game. Uh, like, this is the issue for me is that Fnatic just cannot play a three lanes in this comp. I uh like so their econ is gonna be shot. So all their econ needs to be on Smolder. Yeah, so Smolder's taking the bot camps. Gonna clean up bot wave. Okay, that's fine. Uh, th this was this was fine from Fnatic by the way. Mystery went over the draft. Would you have changed for Fnatic's draft? I mean, I would have banned Yone and actually drafted some fucking damage. I would have I would have picked the Rel on four. I think that's I, I don't I don't understand how 
I know Yone was an uh, issue at B1, but I don't know why you give Rel to Rumble MF when Rel is the best support in the tournament and the best at like setting up picks like that. When you could have taken it on 4 and then had AD counter, I actually would have liked that a lot better. And maybe you could have drafted some fucking damage to AD. Like, I, I mean, Noah could have played Ezreal in the, um, into uh, Jin. You still would have had a slower game, but at least you would have had more damage in that scenario, right? Aren't seeing any Jinx yet? I think Jinx in a meta with Yone, Rumble, Sejuani just cannot exist. Uh, there's a good sequence from Fnatic. But they don't, like, again, they aren't getting a lot from this. I, I do like how they, like, Jin set this up. This is really nice from Jin. And Noah actually got involved here, so that's cool. But again, like, they have to make plays like this because they just cannot fucking point aside. And Noah, Noah actually should not have gotten involved in this one. I don't know it makes zero difference in this play going down or not. They, uh, Noah should have fixed mid because they end up losing top and mid for this. So, like, at least, like, Noah getting involved there isn't even good. I do think there's something you said that Noah would have lost that either way. But if you want to go for this play, then... Yeah, I don't know. Like, again, Fnatic's only playing one wave. And Kareem just ports top off spawn and says, fuck it, I'm going to take a turret for myself. Was Silas open? Yeah, I, I also don't love Silas, though, in this draft. Uh, and um, Smolder was b 2 I think Smolder is, like, so anti what Fnatic wants to do anyway. And then we're just going to watch them do zero fucking damage. Uh, okay, so this is the play that's going to come down for Fnatic. Humanoid did get bought all the way in. Jackie will have got mid in. Fnatic's dropping mid to fight this. Really, really nice from Mako, Jackie Love, and Cream. And I mean, again, guys, Fnatic has no damage in their comp. And they're not fighting on the timer. Like, the only damage they have is Humanoid. Gets completely locked up. Noah, that's Noah's first auto. So he wasn't set up. And he, yeah, he got three autos off in this fight. I, I, again, there's just no damage anywhere else in the comp. This is such a disgusting draft. I, it really isn't, like, yes, the Yone being let through is a problem. All the pieces they put around it, though, like for Fnatic, like, I mean, their draft is terrible. You don't do any fucking damage this game. You have Jin Smolder with two tanks topside. Like, what is going on? And again, bro, like, Yone in these drafts, nothing can deal with Yone. It's like we gave away, like, I wouldn't care if we gave away Yone B1 if we actually had an answer to it. We did not. Also, Orianna and the Blanc were both banned. The block is actually an answer that I would like for Humanoid to play into Yone. More reason to ban it. I don't know. This game is like actually not fun to talk about now. I, I, it was actually such an astronomical draft if going back. And Fnatic did not play well. Fnatic, I, I mean, if I'm playing against Fnatic, by the way, I would... I mean, if you get Yone, that's fine. Just play out three lanes. Let them overcommit to shit. I feel like Fnatic's at their best when they're able to stretch sides and play sides. Just play out three lanes. Like, well, what, what can Fnatic do against three lanes? And we've seen them consistently overcommit in the top esports, and they just punish the lanes that Fnatic are not in. Part of it is the draft, for sure. Part of it is the draft, but... Yeah, I mean, I, this game is, like, not even worth talking about, guys. This game's rough. Like, Jesus fuck. Uh, I will say 369's Rumble, if there's any notes to take from top esports. I did not love the Rumble for 369. I know this guy has, like, an insane win rate, but I I mean, I think Jamada tweeted out, like, I feel like he's not even good at the pick, and I... I mean, from this, this draft, I kind of agreed. I'll be real. Someone tweeted out 369, like, wasn't even, didn't even look that great in Rumble, even though his win rate on it is, like, fucking sick. I kind of agree. His Rumble was very suspect this game. Uh, Zika and Kina have been much better Rumbles in the tournament so far. This guy's been actually insane of the champ. The Zika Rumble's really good. I was actually really impressed. Nice man, just Yone bullshit. Fuck this champion, get this champ off, like, literally out of the game. I'm, like, Jesus fucking Christ, man. Oh... Cream lived. Fnatic does not. Again, Fnatic does zero damage. Like, look at how disrespectful Mako and Tian are playing. It just does not fucking matter. Nice. Sick. Sick game. Yeah, sick draft. All right, nothing else. All right, guys, this is it for Fnatic uh, versus Top Esports. That draft was gross. Uh, not much to talk about in that one. But anyway, thanks for joining us for the review. If you guys want to tune in for more, feel free to drop a sub, likes, and comments, help the channel a lot, and follow me everywhere at KBXX. See you guys later.